ang ano ang ano ang kumilos sa akin ng gospel project maging matapang sa salita ng Diyos at pangahawakan ko yun habang ako ay nabubuhay amen you restore every heart that's broken Uh, sa mga ano sa mga hindi nakaka nakaka-receive pa ang katotohanan sa mga kapitbahay na kuno kapitbahay lalo pang dumami isa isang family na naakay niya na 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 nag nag nagstand kay Lord gagawin ko yon gagawin namin yon gagawin ng bola cancel uh one other family uh the husband is standing in the Lord actually their situation the wife doesn't trust the Lord, but the husband is really willing to stand to the Lord for their family. Uh, so Lord revealed to us that uh, gospel project can change life, so we will not stop sharing to other villages like what happened to the first family. generation is waiting. They are ready. They are firing and they are very hungry. When I check the weather forecast, oh, I think how can this but and God let us worship this time outside the hall because God holds the weather. And wow, this is the next generation that God has given us. They know how to stand. So I shared to teachers, they really need leaders. They are very young and they are ready to stand hungry and then ready to stand as a holy generation. They are not scared to stand for the word of God. So I really encourage teachers, let's turn away from our old life. So after this, I expect cell revival. After this, this gathering, this retreat, very beautiful retreat, I expect the expansion of cell. I expect we go to Mindanao. Yes, that is bloodiest part in the Philippines. We will go there. And then God will use us to change the, the situation in that place. And then God will use the Arai Shine School to raise up the next generation as a holy generation. God already started and they will keep growing. So our faithfulness to God, as leaders, teachers, and cell leaders, yes, should be very firm. Firm commitment to God. Yeah.